Oh, yeah. Oh, spin it. Yes. Whee! Oh, you spin counterclockwise. You must be Australian. I am. <laughs> Hey you guys, I'm Ashley. And I'm Brian. And we're Others Coffee. And we are the business citizens of DC. Today we're gonna go stop at somewhere to drop off some cans. Mm -hmm. So come we're with us. We're gonna take you with us. Yeah. We're on our way to somewhere. And that is an actual place. I'm not just blanking on the name. Um, somewhere is a really cool, pretty much one of a kind gem in Washington DC. Half cafe, half retail. If you're a sneakerhead, if you're into fashion, Somewhere is the place to go. So I actually work at Somewhere, full disclosure. Um, I've been a barista there since they opened up, so I've been on the coffee side of things. Um, and then when we launched Others in 2020, um, the owners were cool enough to say, hey, why don't you guys sell some of your coffee here? So we are one of two roasters that are sold at Somewhere. Um, so we feel very honored in that. Hi. Hi. Oh, look at him. He hit you with a big smile. One day we just kind of were like, you know what? I think this is what we want to do. The pandemic happened and we were two baristas that suddenly had a lot of time on their hands. And we were like, okay, this is, this is the time. Let's get into this. And that was really how others started. Um, we sat around our kitchen table one night talking about names and you know, we really wanted to kind of emphasize like the community aspect of coffee and that's really where others came from. You know, so ever since then, it's just been sort of figuring out how to live our dream. We eventually want to have a brick and mortar here in the city, and we will in due time. This looks like a tower of cans. Ta-da! <laughs> that was it, was that it? <laughs> favorite cafes in DC top one is the Y Down. Gotta be Second the Down. is La Cologne. Yes. You gotta love them. One of any of the five or so that there are. Yeah. Um, the other ones we really like Peregrine Espresso and also Lost Sock. Um, all really good experiences. Great coffee, great local roasters as well, and beautiful cafe spaces too. Yeah. This is like one of the cool things about Navy are is the bridge. We've been walking, I would say, almost every day for almost two years, we've walked along this path. Most people know me, especially around DC, as being a rapper. Um, I am an artist in the city. And really, you know, coffee uh, just fueled my music career. Um, when I would come home, I would write, but I needed something to keep me going, and that thing was coffee. And then I just fell more and more in love with it, with the, you know, the culture and everything surrounding it. Walk inside the coffee shop. Hey, what's happening? And it was really just like coffee and music, and then like graphic design came in, and now here I am a few years later doing design work for the coffee company that we own together. I am a mom, I manage a cafe, and on the side I do a little illustrating and sometimes music. Well, I don't know and I just can't explain it. I thought I was so ready to obtain it. After months of picking up the trade of roasting and not really realizing everything that we were doing before we met each other and before we started coffee, we were working towards something bigger. I think the fabric of DC really lies in the art, the art community. So I would say just get in, involved with some art, find out who the local artists are, whether they're like a visual artist or a musician, and like go see a show, and especially like at a local music venue like Songbird. The real DC is I think what you make it, but I think it's more a mindset, and I think that the best way to experience it is with an open mind. 
we're on our way to go to the wharf. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have some crabs, some snow crab legs, some shrimp. Yes. I'm so excited because it's been a few months since I had any seafood. Treat yet. ourselves. Yes. <laughs> right now we are at the wharf in Southwest. We normally come here for all our seafood purposes, like true crabs and shrimp and everything like that. Yes. It's sad because the empty space used to be Captain White's, and I used to come here with family when I was a little girl, and now it's gone. Yes, Ooh. this has been but, here. But Jesse's is just as good. Yes. So coming to the wharf and getting crabs and sitting out in the sun with your blanket or at a table is like the thing to do in DC. It's like you have to do it, and you have to come to the wharf. like a bag of, of hot, steamy crabs. I know. Sure, the beauty in those, wow. They're a little small females, but they're pretty cool. Wanna try? Mmm. You're like really cracking crabs and having a conversation. Because it's my favorite thing to do. It's the only thing in life I know how to do something simultaneously. There's a real method to the madness. There is. There's not much to there it. There is. You gotta teach people. Like when you sit down with somebody with crabs for the first time, it's like you have to go through it. I would say probably next to like the mall in Georgetown, the wharf is another like real destination for people when they're traveling here from out of town. Because you can do a little bit of everything right here. And like I feel like water is a part of DC and this is where it is. Hi. I know. They're coming to get you. Well, that's it. Thank you guys so much for spending a day in DC with us. Yes. We hope to see you guys soon. Walking around with, with a your others, of others coffee. coffee in your hands. Appreciate it. See ya. I'm always ready to walk all fast. Right. I'm like, get off the phone. You're always way. like, it's the way you get off the phone. Get with off the phone.